modest proposal. It is a melancholy object to those who walk through this great town when they see the streets, the roads, the doors, crowded with beggars of the female sex, followed by three, four, or six children, all in rags and importuning every passenger for arms. These mothers, instead of being able to work for their honest livelihood, are forced to employ all their times in strolling to beg sustenance for their helpless infants who, as they grow up, either turn thieves for want of work or leave their dear native country to fight for the pretender in Spain or sell themselves to the Barbados. I think it is agreed by all parties that this prodigious number of children in the arms or on the back or at the heels of their mothers and frequently their fathers is in the present deplorable state of the kingdom a very great additional grievance. And Therefore, whoever could find out a fair, cheap, and easy method of making these children sound useful members of the Commonwealth would deserve so well of the public as to have his statue set up for a preserver of the nation. I shall now therefore humbly propose my own thoughts, which I hope will not be liable to the least objection. I have been assured by a very knowing American of my acquaintance in London that a young, healthy child, well-nursed, is at a year old a most delicious, nourishing, and wholesome food. Whether stewed, roasted, baked, or boiled, and I make no doubt that it will equally serve as a fricassee or a ragout. And I do therefore humbly offer to the public consideration that of the 120,000 children already computed, 20,000 may be reserved for breed, and that the remaining 100,000 may, at a year, be offered in sale to the persons of quality and fortune, always advising the mother to let them suck, suck, suck plentifully in the month so as to render them plump and fat for a good table. A child will make two dishes at an entertainment for friends, and when the family dines alone, the fore or hind quarter will make a reasonable dish, and seasoned with a little pepper or salt will be very good boiled on the fourth day, especially in winter. I grant this food will be somewhat dear, and therefore very proper for landlords, who, as they have already devoured most of the parents, seem to have the best title to the children. <laughs> Infant's flesh will be in season throughout the year, but more plentifully in March, and a little before or after, for we are told by an eminent French physician that fish being a prolific diet, there are more children born in Roman Catholic countries about nine months after Lent. <laughs> because of the number of popish infants in at least three to one in this kingdom, therefore it will have another collateral advantage by lessening the number of papists amongst us. I can think of no objection that will possibly be raised against this proposal, unless it should be urged that the number of people will be thereby much lessened in the kingdom. Therefore, let no man talk to me of taxing our absentees at five shillings a pound, or using neither clothes nor household furniture except of our own growth and manufacture, or utterly rejecting the materials and instruments that promote foreign luxury. But before something of that kind shall be advanced in contradiction to my scheme and offering a better, I desire the author or authors will be pleased to consider two points. First, as things now stand, how will they be able to find food and raiment for 100,000 useless mouths and backs? And secondly, there being a round million of creatures in human figure throughout this kingdom whose whole subsistence put into the common stock will leave them in debt two million pounds sterling added to those beggars by profession to the bulk of farmers, cottages, and laborers and their wives and children who are beggars in effect. I desire those polit politicians who dislike my overture and may perhaps be so bold as to att and attempt an answer that they will first ask the parents of these mortals whether they would not at this day think it a great happiness to have been sold for food at a year old in the manner I prescribe and thereby have avoided such a perpetual scene of misfortunes as they have since gone through by the oppression of landlords, the impossibility of paying rent without money or trade, the want of common sustenance with neither house nor clothes to cover themselves in the inclemency of the weather, and most inevitable prospect of entailing the like or greater miseries upon their breed forever. 
I profess in the sincerity of my heart that I have not the least personal interest in endeavouring to promote this necessary work, having no other motive than the public good of the country. By advancing our trade, providing for the infants, relieving the poor, and giving some pleasure to the rich. I have no children by which I can propose to get a single penny, the youngest being nine years old and my wife past childbearing. Jonathan Swift, 1729.